Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shop, bringing you another Madden 18 Mutt Tip video. Uh, update my team real quick. I try to do that at the beginning of some of these videos. Uh, my team's looking okay right now. It's an A2 overall. I got about half a million coins um, that I'm waiting for somebody, something special that I see uh, to spend on. And I'm actually selling some of them too. So it's going to be, I'll probably spend like 300K in coins. But either way, this is my squad. I have no running back right now. That's directly related to this tip video that I'm doing. I'm going to get a very good running back for free. Uh, I sold uh, the 88 Marshall Falk that I had. I was kind of trying to complete him, but after a while I realized he really isn't that great. So I sold him. He's good, but I sold him and I'm working without a running back until I unlock the one that I'm trying to get. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that uh, in a minute right here real quick. Uh, my defense is definitely more jacked up than my offense. I have a lot of really good pulls here. Uh, a lot of them are not sellable. <laughs> and uh, that's part of the reason that, they, that they, this defense... I mean, I really like him. I, I could, you know... This is, this is probably my favorite side of the ball. I put more time into my defense, um, so that's definitely a better defense. But on the offensive side, you got to get this Cam Newton. If you want a, a relatively inexpensive uh, quarterback that's a really high up quarterback, I mean, if you compare him to other 89 overall quarterbacks, they're a lot more expensive. So for an 89 overall, you know, mobile, really devastating quarterback, try to get the flashback Cam Newton. He's really good. Um, I had a really great tandem with him and Marshall Falk, but like I said, I sold Marshall Falk because I'm gonna get a much, uh, very relatable and uh, much cheaper back. Uh, that kind of fits my style more, a little bit more. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. So basically we're gonna go to the solos. <clears throat> I wasn't doing a lot of solos uh, for a while. I mean, you can see they're all pretty much blank. I didn't do any of the journey. I, I tried to do some of the AFC leaders, but then they get to a point where you have to have like the chems unlocked per team. And I'm like, I don't feel like going out and doing all that. I probably will at some point. There's a pretty decent reward for them. Um, especially since I had to buy some players to do the solos I'm going to show you now. So I probably will end up doing the NFC ones pretty quick. Uh, but either way, I haven't really done too many solos. I really haven't done the level challenges. I haven't done, um, you know, I didn't do, I didn't play long shot. I really don't do all that stuff. I just like to play competitive, uh, you know, stuff like that. So basically the ones that I have been doing is the gauntlet. The gauntlet is always uh, the quickest ones to do. I'm struggling with this one gauntlet one right now. I mean, this, this sim mode is so cheat. It just cheats you so damn much. But either way, I'm trying to complete that. Uh, I'll probably have that done hopefully today. So the ones that I weren't doing though, and I think that a lot of people aren't doing, are the the Gauntlet Unleashed because this is a basically like a timed solo event where you have to do it on certain days, and the rewards don't look that good. My head's kind of in the way here, but the rewards kind of look small until you realize that you can get uh, Gauntlet trophies the same way you can get Gauntlet trophies over here, but you can actually get more. Like the, the one of the purposes to doing the Gauntlet in previous seasons is you would get one player, which they kind of pre pre-designed it was typically not even a very good player like I remember last year that like Philip Rivers after a while Philip Rivers was selling for nothing Rob Ninkovich uh, Julius Peppers they were all trash well now they're actually pretty good and you actually get to choose which I think is one of the better upgrades uh, to the game this year we'll go ahead to upgrade sets and I'll show you what I'm talking about I already did one of them uh, you probably saw it if you if at my cornerback spot in uh, Stephen Gilmore if you noticed that out of the out of the out of the bottom corner there. But uh, we basically did um, Stephen Gilmore because he's one of my favorite cornerbacks. Like he has like almost 80 hands. He's got speed. He's when I saw he was in here I was like right away. Um, I could get Zach Ertz right now. I could get Philip Rivers right now. I have enough gauntlet trophies for these, but I'm actually waiting for the Monday to Friday set. I might even have enough for the four guy. As you can see, they go up uh, a point as they go up. Um, actually, this guy, they go, yeah, they go up a point as they go up per, um, this is the guy I'm trying to get, I'm talking about. As they go up per gauntlet trophy, um, you get a, a, a higher rated guy. And I'm trying to get Agent Peterson. If I get him, and then I have the uh, the chemistry, he's going to be like an 88 overall. I like to run the ball up the middle anyway. So to me, I was like, let me get him. Let me sell Marshall Falk for about 140 in coins. Um, and you can see you also got uh, Terrell Suggs and Ezekiel Lanza. Um, I thought you could only get three gauntlet trophies. I thought that was like the max. Um, because there's three gauntlet tiers and then I realized that you can get multiple you get multiple gauntlet trophies um, in the uh, the other set that I was talking about like I said maybe you do it maybe you're not maybe this is for beginners uh, but like I said I was pretty much skipping over solos entirely but this gauntlet section right here I'm pretty sure I got a gauntlet trophy at the end of this one um, it doesn't really say it anymore, but I'm pretty sure I got one there. I think in this Open Champions, whenever I get to these these Open Championships, I think there's at least one, if not two. Yeah, there's one Gauntlet Trophy at the end of this. So I'll only have to do four uh, from Friday to Sunday once it once it opens up. I think I'm recording this on like a Wednesday. So once it opens up, I'll get one there. That's enough to get my Agent Peterson if I want. And then um, I also have a Gauntlet Trophy 
uh, here, which is, um, you know, four, I got four more to go. So, so in a matter of eight solos, I'll have two Golem trophies. I'll have my choice from Adrian Peterson, or I could get Terrell Suggs, or they're gonna release more guys. That's the thing. They're gonna, I could save them up for whoever the next release is. The next release will be a 90 overall guy. I don't know what position, but it might be worth saving up for that. So I might do that. So basically right there, in this Gauntlet Unleashed section alone, you have enough. I think you get like four Gauntlet trophies, then you'll get, um, you get three or more in the, uh, the Gauntlet itself. Um, I think now it's like it looked like it expanded. I could have swore it was only 60 But I think I got a gauntlet at the end of this and then it expanded and it gave you five more with another gauntlet at the end of it If I'm wrong, I'm not entirely sure I know in the legend one here, which I haven't finished which is a good thing I haven't finished it because I can show it off um, Here you get a gauntlet trophy for uh, this fin finishing this one up against the Patriots Which looks like a nightmare and then you also get another one like I said I think they expanded it you'll get another one here um, at the end of this one so now it looks like you might get six gauntlet trophies throughout this correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section and then you also get uh, four gauntlet trophies from the gauntlet unleashed if not more I might be counting off so you really have a chance of getting like 10 gauntlet trophies uh, which is worth a couple of good players I mean you could take that if you if you haven't done these sets, which I'm sure most Mutt players have, but like I said, if you're new to Mutt, you definitely have to do the regular gauntlet. That's like, that's typically one of the easiest. Uh, but it's, let's say you get 10, because I'm not entirely sure. Once you get it, it disappears, so I can't really go back and look. But you could easily get an Ezekiel Ansa, an Agent Pearson. I mean, that's just like busting up your team. The reason I'm not really going for Ansa is because I do have a JPP and I have a, a Cliff Avril, which are pretty high overalls. I'd rather get a running back and then sell Marshall Falk for the coins. That was my plan. Uh, but Terrell Suggs, let me know in the comment section if you guys know uh, which of these guys are, are best. If you have one, if you have Terrell Suggs, man, this guy's a beast. Because you can't, I can't even go on, you can't sell these guys. So I can't go into the marketplace and look them up and see what their stats are. But I worry that Terrell Suggs might be on the slow side, even though it's a flashback. Uh, I'm sorry, not a flashback. Even though it's a uh, it's a gauntlet trophy, and maybe they might bust him up. If he's like under 80 speed, it doesn't really excite me. You know what I mean? That's why I'm thinking he might not be good. Also, probably be an 80 speed guy. But like I said, I have pretty good defensive ends. So let me know in the comment section who you think I should take. Uh, other than that, let me know if this helped you out. If this is something that everybody's already doing, um, and I'm just late to the party. Because like I said, I don't really spend a lot of time on solos. I rather flip coins and just buy the guys that I want. Um, that's a little bit. Uh, more my style but honestly lately i've been having issues flipping coins which is why i started dipping into the souls anyway so that's it for more mutt tips more mutt updates on my team like hit the like button and i'll do that other than that thanks for watching mad money shit out if you more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below